Just in case some of you are starting to think that our criticisms are going unheard. I hate the MCU slogan. I hate it. I hate it with every fiber of my being as a woman who wants to see strong female characters. Nobody cares what you think. And I also get annoyed when, it, when Marvel seems to underline that. And I'm, I'm just very upset about it. Nearly 40% of Marvel fans are... Uh, Showing franchise fatigue, perhaps not happy with the MCU. I personally think that the real number is a lot higher than that, and people are just afraid of being labeled a sexist or a racist if they say that they are fatigued with the current MCU. John, how are you? I am so fatigued even thinking about it. How are you? Yeah, I'm fatigued am... over the MCU. No. Yeah, you gotta get your shots in, don't you? No, nothing woke but Marvel. women. <laughs> That's right, man. Forty percent of fans say they're tired of only the, only of women. Only women. They surveyed five thousand men <laughs> who hate <laughs> women, <laughs> ages thirteen to fifty-four. <laughs> this is the only requirement is that you hate women. Yeah, I can tell you two are trying to be sarcastic, but you're doing a terrible job. You see, what you're really doing is you're trying to mask what you really think behind fake sarcasm and the mask is slipping. I hate the MCU slogan. I hate it. I hate it with every fiber of my being. You see, all these individuals are paid Marvel shills. And what I mean by that is that they make a profit off of being complete sellouts for Marvel and sucking the mouse's dick. No, no, not like that. That's just silly. Interestingly, after Wakanda Forever's terrible second week, these two channels decided to come out in full defense mode of the current state of the MCU. But real quick, please leave a like on the video, and if you're a fan of shitting all over Marvel dick riders, then consider subscribing, because that's pretty much all I do here. I'd appreciate it. I really would. So this is the variety poll that these guys are talking about. It basically says that 40% of Marvel fans have become disenfranchised with the current state of the MCU. What they have concluded is that nearly 40% of Marvel fans are feeling fatigued by it. Now, I guess the question comes into the play here of, of this feeling, which I'm still like 5,000 people. I mean, I guess 5,000 people is a reasonable amount to, to discern that number, it's a big age range group. Sure. <laughs> so here they just start criticizing the poll and its sample size simply because they don't agree with the result. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> there are millions of people who watch these, yeah. but I suppose you could draw an, uh, at least a notable cross-section worth examining out of 5,000 people, even if it's not the complete ratio. I mean, a multivaried sample with 5,000 respondents is not a bad poll. Even so, I mean, like 36% comparatively doesn't seem dire. What the fuck are you talking about? I guess the question comes down to, is it fatigue over the amount of releases? Or is it fatigue over the fact that maybe the quality and the overall reception to them isn't as impactful or as grand as Marvel once was on a consistent basis. Um, I'll definitely agree with that. You know, because it seems like there's a lot more complaints <laughs> about the actual execution of a lot of these films, even for Wakanda Forever, a movie that we love. It is the most powerful MCU movie I have seen. Could be my favorite. Uh, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I have to watch it again. Jesus Christ. I thought this was a, a, a damn near perfect experience. Paid. MCU shill. Even Black Panther Wakanda Forever, while doing great numbers, is not on track with matching the first Black Panther movie. But I feel like there's a variety. I mean, for, for crying out loud, you don't even have your your main character returning <laughs> this <laughs> yeah, time around. A lot of it. That is the excuse you're going to go with. They promoted the shit out of this movie, and they didn't meet their expectations. It's okay. It happens all the time. I just think the movie business is changing. We're getting a new normal, particularly when it comes to theatrical releases. Okay, please explain. Again, Hollywood has changed when it comes to going to movie theaters. There's the, there is the pandemic. No, the pandemic is no longer a logical excuse. Uh, but I think that's because it hit fast forward on the rise of streaming. Okay, I'll agree with that one. But if the movie is good, people will go see it in the theater. If it's not good, they will typically wait and stream it. 
uh, lack of quality in the movie going experience. Um, I'm just speaking for myself here, but the movie theaters I go to are some of the nicest places with the most comfortable chairs and they are very clean. If anything, for me, the movie going experience has gotten better in the past several years. But that's just me. So many of us are like, all right, I'll go to the theater. And then we're like, why did I go to the theater? Take Black Panther Wakanda Forever, a much bigger second weekend drop than the first film, by like 20% more, yikes. But when you look at the biggest second weekend drops for all the MCU, they're almost all recent movies, which I think speaks to this new normal. I mean, based on what we got in phase four with the exception of No Way Home, the new normal that you're talking about is just that Everything sucks. Yeah, everything sucks. I don't think it's necessarily uh, a criticism on Black Panther Wakanda Forever that it had a bigger drop. I mean, Spider-Man No Way Home and Multiverse of Madness did just fine. Well, there are reasons for No Way Home being at 68%. For example, Christmas Day was in Spider-Man's second week. So how many movie theaters were closed because of that? Coincidence? I think not! I mean, you gotta delve a little bit deeper into those numbers. And like, I think if we really, you know, separate ourselves, because I've liked most of the Marvel things that have come out for sure. Something wrong with me? She's kind of hot as the Hulk. Oh, no, I've definitely got a thing. Nah, <laughs> nothing wrong with you at all. <laughs> There's been a decent amount of ones that just didn't quite hit the mark in the way I was hoping for, especially when it comes to some of the finales of these shows. Oh, and when are we getting the X-Men? I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. When it comes to the shows that have come out, I'm like, I loved episodes of those shows. <laughs> and I keep but did I love the show overall? overall? <laughs> you know, that's like, a much different question. You guys shilled and fanboyed every single episode of She-Hulk. I literally have proof of this on my channel. So if I'm to believe what you're saying now, then your reactions during your viewings of She-Hulk on your channel were 100% fake then. Again, everyone, these are paid shills, and whenever Marvel, Disney, or Lucasfilm finds themselves in hot water or they fuck up big time, they are always here to defend. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments. I will be checking. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for future MCU videos. And also check out some of the other MCU content already live on the channel.